Hello guys, this is a new video of history learning. I am Alex and welcome to my channel. This video is about this small but great country, its history, its composition, its ancient status, and its paradisiacal places that make this country like the paradise of the Caribbean. Come to know the history of the Dominican Republic. The history of this impressive place dates back thousands of years with the arrival of indigenous Tainos from the area currently known as Venezuela and they went around this smaller island until they reached this island. According to estimates, the Tainos arrived 3,000 years ago and began to call the island as Kiskeya, defined as mother of all land. In the pre-colonial era, the island was divided into five sheepdoms Marianne, Maguana, Iguay, Jaragua, and Magua. On the arrival of Christopher Columbus to the island on December 5, 1492, the island was baptized with the name of the Spanish island and on August 4, 1496, the city of Santo Domingo was found considered it the first city of the new world, as it became the first city to have everything. It has the first university in America, the first hospital, the first audience, the first church, the first governorate, the first point of departure for the search for new lands in America, and sadly, the first place of enslavement in America. While new lands were discovered, the Spanish lost relevance as it did not have as many treasures as in New Spain, Mexico, and the Viceroyalty of Peru, and was losing interest to the point that the western part was abandoned and then ceded to France in a treaty from Ryswick in 1697. The system continued like this until 1795, when Spain had to sell the eastern part to France, but it would not validate its occupation until 1804-1808, under the command of General Jean-Louis Ferrand. And by the way, the Dominican area returned to Spain known as the Ceiling Spain. It continued in this way until 1821, when the independent state of Spanish Haiti, better known as ephemeral independence, was declared, since it lasted 70 days and was under the protection of Gran Colombia and Simon Bolivar. But after this, the agreement had no support and the Indians occupied the eastern part of the island for 22 years, wanting to ban all traditional practices such as the use of the Spanish, remove all parts of European nature due to Indian customs. The Dominicans sought their independence and they found it in 1844 under the command of Juan Pablo Duarte, starting the Dominican Republic. In 1861, the President Pedro Santana ceded the Dominican Republic for the third time to Spain, already as an overseas province. However, the Dominicans did not want to continue under pressure from other countries, and the military Gregorio Luperón and a large group of fighters managed to restore the country in 1865. In the years ahead, the country continued to struggle, but with economic and political problems, until in 1916, the United States invaded the Dominican Republic militarily, and also the United States had control over the country. It brought a series of reforms that promoted the country, like education, the military, new roads and more. 
The occupation lasted until 1924. In 1930, the general Rafael Trujillo came to power, establishing a tannery of almost 31 years, and although he violated human rights with countless deaths, the economy was able to grow to the point that the foreign debt was paid in 1947, bringing economy progress. At his death in 1961, elections were held the following year. The professor Juan Bosch was the winner, and he was overthrown after seven months, accused of communism. And as a result of this, in 1965, one of the most extraordinary revolutions in Latin America in the century took place. At this time, the president Francisco Camaño was the hero who encouraged the people and also to negotiate peace between the first opposite to the return of power of Juan Bosch and the Americans. In 1966, Joaquin Balaguer wins and stays for 12 years, establishing a time of fear and protest, especially for university students. In 1996, Leonel Fernandez wins with the support of Joaquin Balaguer and a new time of peace and progress arrive in the country. At the end of the 90s, the tourism industry experienced a boom of the arrival of millions of tourists to places such as the Alto de Chabon, with its Roman style of the first millennium, Puerto Plata, with its beautiful beaches and its charming cable car, Punta Cana and its world-renowned beaches, Santo Domingo and its European-looking colonial charm, and more. Today, making the Dominican Republic the most visited country in Latin America with more than 7 million visitors, just behind Mexico with more than 40 million. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoy this history about the Dominican Republic and all the things you can know about this country. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.